So, I think I have just made the highest DPS ship in the whole of Skull and Bones. Does it mean it's the best ship? Maybe, maybe not. But, in terms of damage, there is not going to be another ship that has got this much output. It's absolutely broken. So, without further ado, let's go over to the bounty board. And let's... Uh, Grab one of these missions to show you the damage it can do to another ship. Because we know these, these ships are tanky. And this, this sunrise really makes your screen orange. So, no. My game's not on LSD. It's uh, it's just making it very, very orange. And that looks a little bit, bit better now. Um, Maybe it still looks a bit funky. Let me know in the comments down below. But let's quickly just dive over the ship before we go and attack another one. So, the ship, you're probably all wondering, what the hell is this? And you've probably never seen it before. If you look down in the bottom right, you'll see it's a sandbook. Now, the sandbook video, I'll do another video on how to unlock it. Um, but it's quite straightforward. You just need uh, 5,000 pieces of eight. And then you go to the Yanita and you buy it. And the bit, then you need to do other bits and bobs. But regardless of that, if I go to just change ship just so we can see the details. Because we need to see the details to understand. You can see here the whole health, the speed of the cargo... Of the ship are all quite high. No, that was just bugged. But if we go to chain ship and we go to the details. And we got a ship specialised in dishing out fire damage. And burning its targets. It's also able to target multiple multiple enemies in close proximity. Now, it specialises obviously DPS. It's a DPS ship. But this is where it becomes very high on DPS. So the perk it has is it deals 5,000 burning damage. When you apply the ablaze effect to an enemy ship, ablaze will be applied to enemies within a radius of 150 meters also. So if there's other ships around that ship, they're also going to be ablaze. I don't know if that 5,000 burning damage links up to all of them as well. So they all get hit with that 5,000. That I'm not too sure. I've got to do a bit of uh, testing. But then also increases damage to ships with ablaze effect by 50 percent so not only am i going to be hitting mega damage i'm going to be applying an additional 50 percent damage once i've set them ablaze now this ship right here if you look at the cannons i've got on the front of this ship looking at right in the center of the screen where we're looking right now you can see the front cannons but if i can can i get a camera where i can take a picture of this to try and show you Let's see, if I set sails, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set sail, and then I can actually show you around the ship. I should be able to anyway. So let's see if we can pull up a camera. I believe there is a setting. If I go there and I go there again and I edit, I should be able to add a camera. There we go. Right. So, let's go over to the camera and let's use it. So, where is my ship? This is my ship right here. So, take... No, it's not. That's not my ship. <laughs> what ship are you? You're not mine. <laughs> Get out of here. Right. Hey! That's my ship. What do you think you're doing? Anyway. Wait, I'm going to take a picture of his license plate. Anyway, so where were we? So, the ship, right, the front of it... It's got two cannons like every other ship. I can't, it's really hard to zoom in. It's got two cannons like every other ship here on the front. But what you might not know in this game is you've actually got these hatches down low. Excuse my camera. It's, it's not like a drone. You can't just go down and up, which I wish you could. It's actually got these two ports here, which do function as cannons. It's got another two on this side. And it's got two at the top. So in theory, this ship has got three on this side, three on this side, six cannons on the front that is absurd now when we look at the side we've only got three doors down below but we've got four cannon ports on the top so if we were to use a, a all deck cannon we could have four five six seven on each side so let's oh no 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 let's go back up wait i'm hitting the the rope it's a pretty tough rope and on the other side you can see it's the exact same you can have seven. Now, if we look at the back, the back has also got four slots. So, where I'm heading with this 
is you want to be having your main firepower on the front of this ship because you've got six slots there, seven there, and seven on the other side, also four in the back. So yes, you do have big ones on the side, but there is some top deck weapons that do loads of damage. Now, I've got choices. I could either, on the sides, put on fire bombards, freeze, and use them, or you could go down the route of what I've done. If I go into my managed ship, and I'll explain it a little bit better once we go in there. Wait till we load into the dock. This might take just a second. There we go. And if I now hold B for Xbox, and I go to manage ship, and then I go to my weapons, this is where I'm pairing up. So, based on the ship, every time we set another ship on fire, we get 5,000 damage plus 50% extra weapon damage. This means... As long as I've got enough fire, as in actual fire, not firepower, fire with the firepower, I can set them ships alight really fast. Now, having the six cannons on the front with these Zamzamas, you will set a ship on fire almost immediately. It's also got increased charge rate of vulnerable attacks, which is great. It's got burning two and fire. And then on my side, to counteract that, so every time I'm setting them on fire, I'm getting 5,000 damage. On the side, I've decided to go down this route. Now, you're probably thinking, why on earth, Deathwish, would you put the Skurlock Long Nines on the side? Well, the Skurlock Long Nines have got one of the most broken, overpowered talents on any weapon in this game, which even does more damage than this ship's main ability. You see there, Mask Breaker. Now, the Mask Breaker deals 7,000 damage after the Torn Sails effect is applied. It's got piercing three and it's got tearing two. So when I get side on with a ship, I want to aim at the sails and apparently only three long cannon shots on a normal ship will tear the sails, meaning I'm going to do 7,000 damage. Then all I've got to do is tilt to the front, tilt to the rear and set them on fire. And I'm constantly doing 5,000, 7,000, 5,000, 7,000, 5,000, just duplicating them ridiculous amounts of damage that I can constantly keep popping and if someone's trying to get away from me I just tilt to my side and fire it from range as well with the long cannons and I could just keep rotating doing that and I'm doing a consistent 12,000 damage if you know anything about this game on PvP especially ships only have between 40 to 50,000 health Obviously, the Sandbook's got 35,000, but the Brigette's only got 40,000 health. If I'm applying 12,000 immediately before actual the cannon damage has been applied, I'm going to be taking out their ships so fast that they're not even going to know what the flip happened to them. So, that's my uh, theory there using the Skurlock long lines on the side and... Uh, sorry, yeah, the long lines on the side and the fire on the front and back. Now, my auxiliary is a hard one because I do actually prefer the Leopold because the rockets are so flipping hard to use. Um, and it does do flooding damage. It does quite a lot of explosive damage. It does just, in general, a lot of damage. But I wanted to go down the ablaze route, so I'm going to use the rockets. The rockets do even more damage. It's just very hard to aim it. This, yet again, could be even better if you know what you're doing with it. So, going out of there, armor. Now, the armor I've got at the moment is a Royal Custodian. I'll do another video on how to get that. Um, but it applies, obviously, the Fortified Effect for 12 seconds after using a Repair Kit, which increases armor by 35%. So, that is good. However, the fastest Repair Kit is 20 seconds. So, you're always going to be 8 seconds without that buff. So, it's okay. I would personally, for this ship, you're going to want as much defense as possible. Because you're doing so much damage. It is good that we can use a refortify, sorry. Um, but I would probably go for the Black Prince. Now, the Black Prince armor, if I can pull up the codex, if it lets me, it doesn't let me here. Right, so the Royal Prince basically gives you a 50% extra damage reduction as long as you're under 33% of hull. Now, being a ship with such low health, you're going to achieve that quite quick. So you're going to have quite a lot of tank. You could have the Ouroboros, but this hasn't got much bracing in it. So it's not it's not really worth that. Um, I would say the best thing for this would be the Black Prince. Now this this actual first one might be really good using light uh, kits. And you've always got the 35, but the, the Black Prince is probably going to be better. Also, if we go on to Manage Ship, 
after the armor, the furniture that we're using to maximize and capitalize on this damage, we're actually skipping altogether the main furniture slot number one because the ones that I've got increased damage by 15% after cruise attack, you know, reload after a certain range, repair amounts. Uh, that's one I want to mix around with later on the munitions mixer because it can increase flooding and the blaze damage. And I want to see how that works. Um, but I don't know. Restores after hull effects. Uh, you've got that. The only one out of these that I actually really like is reduced damage taken by 15% and increased threat generation by 100% while anchored. Because you're probably going to always be turning to the side, this, that, and the other, you're probably going to anchor quite a lot just to be agile on the ship. That might be a go to. But as of right now, the one I'm using is simply I've just got increased starboard weapon damage. I've then got. Wait, I might as well do all of them first before to, to before I confuse you. So port and starboard. That in order to know what the different is, port is actually the left side, starboard is the right. Uh, to put it in your mind to make it easier is port is a smaller word, and the smaller word's always going to be on the left. Um, now it's it's not because of any way. It's just because I think that's easier. And then I got the front weapon damage ten percent. So I've got front and side weapon damage ten percent increase on top of already the massive amounts of damage I've got. Then I've gone down and put increased damage to enemy ships with your blaze effect by 10%. So not only have we got the 50%, we've also now got 60% extra weapon damage to ships that are on fire. That is flipping huge. Then I've got increased charge rate of the blaze effects on enemy, sh enemy ships by 10%. We might be able to change this around and get something else here. And there might be something better. But the quicker we can set the ships on fire, the quicker we're getting that extra 60% debuff on them. So, my thoughts were, do this, and this should be the best flipping ship ever once we've got armor. Uh, I've got to mess around with the armor. I've got to understand it a little bit better. I don't really know the armor situation. But if I now then head over to one of these world bosses, let's go to Fangs of Fara. And let's just see what we can do with this build. Now, these are world bosses. So they've got ridiculous amounts of health. Um, it's probably not a good way of showing it off, but it's night time. I could probably go and do the ghost ship. Well, if, if it's still night time after we've done this, then we'll go and do the ghost ship. So let's set sail. And after setting sail, we're going to want to head to wherever said person is. So Fangs of Farah, where are you? It's that way. The only negative I'd say about this ship, it is a little bit slow. But you can see, look, I've got one, two, three, and four long cannons on the side and on the front you ain't gonna be able to see it but that is six cannons and look how quick it reloads let me fire into the sky it's just a shotgun it's just gonna set everything on fire let me see make sure they're full health they are full health and i'm gonna sail as hard as i can to the side now i could put a food uh, buff on i'm actually gonna see what ones i've got to see if it can help or it might be best Actually, we'll do this one because it just reduces the damage I take. Um, and what else could I do? There's nothing else really I can do. I'm just going to get there a little bit quicker. I'm going to literally just go as quick as I can straight into the side of it. Anchor up and fire away because the sails will then come out. And when the sails come out, then I should be able to do it. So let's go straight into it and let's test out this bad boy build. I haven't tested it before. So this is the first. And I'm going ahead and saying it is the best build without even testing it out. So, two shots, and she's now on fire. Let's tear these sails. Let's throw some fire bombs. Let's go ahead and get closer again. Keep that ablaze effect going. Let's turn to the side. Try and get them sails torn. Okay, it's taken a while to tear them sails, which is not what I thought it would do. I thought it would actually be uh, a lot quicker than that. Might be a bit different with PvP. But I can't obviously test that until I do a hostile takeover. So maybe in this video, I'll be able to do a hostile takeover straight after this. But you can just see the sheer amounts of damage I'm doing. I've been in this fight for about a minute. That was one hit. Did you see the chunk of that? Look at the actual damage. As long as I keep her ablaze. I don't know if they're hitting the sails. Maybe I'm a bit too close. So it might be a case of 
actually putting more Zam Zamas on the sides. So I'm just literally constantly blitzing fire and I basically become a dragon. The only negative of that is people then could counter you and you don't really want it. Or I could put the fire bombards, which might work better on the side. But as of right now, yeah, because that's not really setting it on fire. Or, sorry, tearing the sails. Let's do one last hit. And there she goes. If that wasn't the quickest kill of that ship, I don't know what is. I even have my rockets. I didn't even use rockets. Let me show you how, how good rockets are. Wait, I've got to hit the ship for them to... Look, <laughs> the rockets blew up both of them because one ship got set ablaze, got to set the other one ablaze. And it's just a chain reaction. This ship just absolutely deletes, destroys... Let's see if we've got any hostile takeovers. And if not, when have we got any? All right, so we've got one hostile takeover. Let's go and join that event and see how much it does in a hostile takeover. Oh, it's already ongoing. That's a shame. Oh, well, you you know these uh, privateers? These privateers are quite strong. So let's just show you what it does against privateer. And this is a tanky privateer. Oh, no, it's only level four. So it's not really going to show it off. But that was basically, without even setting it ablaze, I've <laughs> killed it in two hits or three hits. That was a joke. Oh, come on. I need to get rid of that wheel. I'm trying to press Y. Let's try and see. Is there a world event ongoing? Or like a cargo ship? So if there's a cargo ship... Wait, where's the land? Have I gone past it? I have. It's that island over there. I try and do a world event. You know where you see all the ships bundled up together? Let's test this build out on that and see what it does to that. Because it sets all the ships ablaze that are within 150 meters. And if you know, they're all grouped up and they're all right next to each other. So that could be very, very interesting to see what happens to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up for a second. And I'll uh, replay the video when I'm at one of them world events. I suppose while I'm waiting for another world to event to appear, I'll go and do this bounty over here and see what happens to that. So, Captor Jocker Cooper. This is the one we're going to go and hit. I'm actually going to use my rockets this time, hopefully. Now, it's really hard to see that line. If that line um, was actually better like the mortar, it'd probably be a lot more viable. But there's obviously a reason they've done it like this. So, two hits and a ram. It's a blaze. I suppose they do precision damage as well, them long cannons, so they're really good for that. Yeah, they're not doing too much to the sails. Not as much as I thought they would. But, yet again, it might be because it's PvE. They are going to destroy them weak points, though. Pretty good. Let me set a black blaze again. Oh, I wonder what the damage has done when I hit it here. 900 a pop. And there's, what, six of them? There's a bit more than six of them. Oh, and then weak spots. Look at the damage you do. These long, long cannons absolutely blitz them weak spots. There we go. There's another world boss destroyed. This might even be the quickest method to get in silver with how easy you're killing these world bosses. Yeah. It's pretty broken. Not going to lie. Let's go back. And uh, still no world events popped up because I've only been about 30 seconds. <laughs> um, I don't know how long it takes for these world events to appear. Is there any specific way of finding out the time? So I've got 16 minutes till takeover opportunity. But I'm not bothered about the takeover opportunity. I want... A world event. Where do I dock? It's over it's over there. I keep going past my docking stations. I believe I've got one more boss in this area. Um, which is this one here. The, I think actually this is the highest one, this blood drunk. It's the tankiest one. So let's see how quick we kill the tankiest one with this uh sam sandbook. It is a sandbook. It's a bit of a chunky boy though, this. Probably pretty easy to hit, and the sails are definitely very exposed. It does look a little bit like the paddy, but 
yeah, the paddy is probably going to be your best for explosive damage. This is best for fire. Let's go over. Let's fast travel quickly and destroy this one. Here we are. Set sail. Should have probably repaired on uh, on dock just so I didn't have to use a thing out here. Oh, we've got some pirates that want it. Let's test out our long cannons on these. We can't. Come on. Okay, so we've almost te torn them apart. Ooh. Okay, so there we see that damage prop. Now let's see the fire blitz between this to that one. Let's set that one on fire. That one's getting dealt. So for groups, this is broken. I don't even know why I've got these coming after me. I shouldn't have them coming after me. They shouldn't unless someone's in the dock. And they've got them marked up with a helm quest or something. Oh, look at that 7k damage that it done. It's pretty brace from that. I mean, another thing that might be really good is putting them uh, Rama's Legacy Torpedoes on the side and seeing what they do with all four of them. To set her alight, as you can see, the light, the light, when you set them alight, the damage it does. There we go. Bam. Now, if you've seen a ship destroy a pirate ship that quick, then I need to know that build because this flipping deletes. Let's go and kill that one over there. Captain Galvin Roche. Many of you have probably already tried taking on Galvin Roche. Or have taken him on. And you've realised that, yes, the guy is a flipping tank. Let's give them a cheers back. Oh, maybe they're coming to kill him as well. Who knows, who knows. Regardless, I am taking him down. Okay, that did no fire damage. Maybe it's just too far. Okay. He could take a little bit more damage, this bloke. That is one strong ship. See, I need to get him ablaze for this ship to do its work. Been flooded. Almost ablaze. Now he's ablaze, so I need to get my damage off while he's ablaze. Still ablaze. I mean, we can't really say it's me because there's actually three of us attacking him. This kind of uh, destroyed the purpose of the video, so sorry. Just pay attention to the health when I'm hitting him, I suppose. Might be the only way to really see the damage done. What was that, a 10k? Absolutely melted. Oh, I tell you what, that might be a good one to have. Is the actual flamethrower on front? No. Then you're missing out on all them slots. If you put the flamethrower on the back, then definitely. So he's using them on the side, the Zamazamas. go. Lovely stuff. Oh, 
got some pirate ships after us as well now. I don't know if they're after me or who they're after exactly. And he is dead. These are little tanky ones, these, aren't they? Oh, it shreds. Uh, it does help if I hit. ships. So I'm trying to concentrate, that's why I'm not talking, so do excuse me. Oops. Oh, that almost set him blaze with one shot. There we go. Right, let me get back over to that chest because I don't want to miss out on the main items. Oh, still another one. Managed loot. I'm going to have to drop something else because I want them. Oh, we could just drop these. Jetson all. Jetson all. And what other materials we got that we can jetson? We could just jetson them 30. Oh, and then we could take them. What have I picked up again? Oh, I don't mind not having them cogwheels. Right, so let's get the hell out of here. I'm sailing into the wind. Where is the island? Wait. Oh, it must be there in the midst of that cloud. We've got any world events happening. We have, starting in 55 seconds. Oh, no, I don't have the capacity for it in terms of the loot. Or the availability to put the loot. All right, well... Looks like I'm going to miss out on some loot because I'm going to have to drop some stuff. What can I drop? Oh. Let me jettison them. I'm just going to jettison all of these. Now I'm going to open this. Open this. And yet again, open all the others. And open this last one. And now, I'm going to try and take out these cargo ships solo. Where's the event? There. Right, okay. Let's do it. I'll show you what this bad boy is made of. Remember, this is best against multiple ships. I don't know how long it can brace for. That I'm not too certain. So, the way to get this to chain react and work really good is we actually probably want to hit one of these ships and get this ablaze. If I can get that ablaze, that's not within 150 meters. If I can get one of these ablaze and they're within 150 meters, it will set all the others ablaze. See that? There we go. This is it. Lovely, flipping, jubbly. Oh, going straight through. I'm 
Remember, these have even more weak spot damage as well, which is uh, a W. Who's healing? Is it that one at the front? Let's try and take him out a little bit. Set him ablaze. He's on fire now, so we're going to do even more damage. So we're on fire and 60% extra damage. Oh, we didn't hit any weak spots. What an actual shame. Let's try and set another ship on fire. Oh, they are all on fire. Oh, what happened there? Come on, ship, sail. Oh, this water is choppy. Wow, that is choppy water. I'm doing this with absolute ease though There is zero difficulty here I mean they're all too worried about being on blimmin' fire Rather than attacking If I set this on fire Remember it's going to set all of them ships That are about to attack me on fire And you see they all just died Without me even shooting them Wow Every single one of them just died Without me shooting them What is happening here with my camera angle Well, there was no point of worrying about them hostile ships. They just got blown up. That was absurd. Oops, just shut the water. Throw some fireballs. Now let's take out, set that on fire, and then it's going to set them all on fire. Fire bombs. Fire balls, I said before, I just realised. But it's not Dragon Ball Z. Let's take out that front bit so they can stop healing. God, these... Precision shots. There we go, one down. We need to set one on fire, and then the other one should die. This is a beast. Go. We had to use one med kit and didn't have to worry about a single enemy. We travelled from there to there. Well, there you have it, guys. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.